Rapper Little Dirk's 10-year-old son shoots his mother's boyfriend. Joshua Pippins. This altercation was all caught on a security camera from one of the homes. According to the footage, an altercation took place between the mother's boyfriend, or you can call him the stepfather, Joshua Pippins, on July the 1st. And there was a physical altercation that took place. And during the dispute, while others were trying to defuse the situation, little Dirk's son grabbed the gun from the stepfather's waist and attempted to shoot him. He didn't shoot him when he first aimed it because in the in the video you can hear the mother telling the son, little Dirk's son, her child too, telling him, hey, you gonna shoot me or your sister, right? But what happens, the altercation ended up going into the middle of the street with her boyfriend, Joshua, and they're still tussling, but this 10 year old boy still has this gun. He's tussling with the mother and it's kind of like they got, they both got their hands up in the air and the 10 year old shoots him in the stomach and he falls to the ground. So he goes to the hospital, right? So while he's in the hospital, he's trying to tell his part about the whole situation that, that took place. He stitched up, got the IV and everything in him, and he takes to his Instagram and he says, as y'all can see, I was not the aggressor. And y'all also can see how I still had my gun on my hip, but the 10 year old boy grabbed my gun off my hip following his mother's lead and tried to shoot me. And then he actually shot me. And he wanted to say, I advise y'all to see the video before they take it down. Hashtag build awareness. This is what he put in this clip. Joshua, he also spoke about the incident on his Instagram story. He said, whatever makes y'all feel better, that's why I got custody of my kids and she doesn't. So y'all on the internet, Thank God it was me that took the shot and not her. That's still my daughter's mom, but she knows, like I know, God has always been good to me. Survivor, he added. Little Dirk's baby mama, this Joshua Pittman's, he has a baby by her too. A daughter, according to him. So he further hinted, he said that the dispute was over custody rights regarding their daughter. And he said, look, nobody is going to jail or they would already be there. He said, I'm doing this for the rights of my kids. Call me what y'all want. And on top of that, this was my mama's house that they were at. And he said, all this happened in front of his mother, his grandmother, and even more kids, which you can see people in the video. Lil Dirk hasn't spoke on the situation, not publicly, just of yet because this video is just now surfacing in the last eight or nine hours and it's viral but me adding my opinion on it which is only my humble opinion my humble pie as i call it y'all know how i call it and from looking at the video i played it in fast motion i played it in slow motion first and foremost i'll say this yeah a child shouldn't be in grown folks' business, even if they're having altercations. But then at the same time, that's a son and that's a mother. A son, that's a normal reaction because boys are closer to the mothers, girls are closer to the fathers. So you're definitely going to have that kind of reaction. And then this is a 10-year-old boy of a hip-hop rapper that talks a little gang-gang or whatever, right? So you can probably imagine, and from some other research I did, Lil Durk and his son are pretty close. So his son want to idolize and follow in the image of what the rappers claim to be, right? So he want to be about that. And you could tell he probably played nothing but shooting video games the way he held the gun. He had it with two hands like he knew what he was doing at 10 years old. When he shot the man, you see what I'm saying? Now, secondly, I'm going to say this in my humble pie. The man is like most men, not real men, but men of the 2024 era. 
emotional. Mike, why would you say he's emotion? He's a, he's an emotional person because he's emotional without a brain. Because if my gun's on my hip and a ten year old or anybody for that matter grabs my gun off my hip, you think I'm gonna still be arguing with the baby mama? I'm gonna be saying, wait, hold up, give me my gun. I'm not gonna be still tussling with her when. This 10-year-old got my gun. He just aimed it at me and didn't shoot. But then I'm still tussling with her until we get into the streets. And now he shoots me. It's no way. When he grabbed my gun, I would have been talking to his little 10-year-old self, pleading with him, convincing him to hand me my gun. Hand me my gun, young youngster, so I can get up out of here. I ain't going to do nothing to you or your mama, but I need my pistol. But no, he's emotional. 2024 emotional Negroes that he didn't pay attention to somebody taking his gun. He knew his gun was taken, but where was his head at? He was so emotional about having this altercation with his baby's mama that he forgot that her 10 year old son got this gun that he just pointed at me and was about to shoot me. But the mama said, Hey, don't shoot. You're going to shoot me or your sister. But then it goes to the street, and I'm still tussling with her, and he shoots me. That's an emotional Negro that doesn't pay attention to his surroundings because there's no way in hell somebody takes my gun off my hip, and you can see it in the video. I don't care if he's a kid, a baby, or an adult. It's no way somebody takes your gun off your hip, and you're still focusing on the situation that you're in and not the situation that Whoa, this person got my gun and aiming it at me. See, emotionalism, emotional Negroes. And in my humble pie, that's why he got popped. Because he didn't care about the gun. He just cared about being in the altercation with the woman. First of all, only a sucker want to be in an altercation with a woman. If she can say her piece, I'm out of there. I don't got time to sit around and be having no... Emotional back and forth with no woman. It doesn't make sense. I'm a man, she's a woman. And plus somebody has to be the bigger party. So if I'm having a dispute, as he says, about getting custody of his daughter, first of all, I can't get the custody. The courts have to give me the custody. So if I'm fighting over custody rights, what am I doing over here? tussling with this woman when all I have to do is call the people in authority to get me the custody see emotional negro you get me and that's why emotional negroes get what they get but at the same time people also it goes to show you the state of our young people he's 10 years old that means he's a 10 year old child so what is a 10 year old child having the mentality to grab a gun and aim it the way he aimed it and still move around like a grown person trying to shoot you because he tried to shoot him when they was on the side of the truck. The mama stopped him, but he's still moving around because he's still trying to shoot him. And while him and the mama touching the street, he's trying to find the angle. Watch the video, people. This 10-year-old is trying to find the angle to shoot him just like an adult would that knows how to shoot. So it tells you the state of black America and probably white America too, but it definitely, tell, it definitely tells you the state of our children that you are in trouble and they're in trouble because that same act that he did on that man and we wonder why the police shoot because these babies are liable to upstrap on the police as well. So we have to be careful what we allowing these children, these babies to be led by, you know, because what they're led by is what's going to be their demise. And with that, I'm going to say this is the news in you. North, east, west, south, unite from every alley in Cali, intersection and back street. Subscribe to the channel and hit the thumbs up on your way out the door. <laughs>